Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Hello, How are you? Good. good. Excellent. I'm okay. Very nice. Nice to have you in class. Hi, Thank Julio. You. How are you? Hello, Miguel Angel. Good evening. All right, Amilcar, Idalia, Daisy, Lydia, oh, and Armando. Very good. Nice. Nice to have you all back. Very good, guys. So, how was your day? Everything okay during the day? Yeah. Has, it, has, has it been raining by your places or not really? No, no, not so far. Huh. All right, but it rained yesterday, right? Last night? It's rained hard, really hard. Yeah. Oh, really? Is yeah. it common for it to rain like hard by your places or not really? Doesn't rain a lot. It rained a lot, but it was not a It rains a lot. Okay. All right. Now, how's the weather? Usually it's hot? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Interesting. All right, guys. Very good. So I uh, remember that I said yesterday that today we're gonna do some speaking practices, all right? So I have three different topics for you tonight. The first one we're gonna do together, all right? So I do want everyone, everyone to participate uh, for the questions. And then when we finish that one, I will send you to you and then you can keep on talking to your um, classmates, all right? So that's the deal for tonight, okay? So this is what we have here. Speaking practice, all right? So we have, whoops, we have a speaking practice. Um, remember like two days ago, I think it was Monday that we were talking about dreams and everything. Well, you guys were talking about dreams. So today I will ask you about dreams, all right? So we're gonna keep on talking about that. That's the topic we're gonna do together. And then you're gonna be talking about two other different topics with their questions with your classmates on your groups, okay? So the first one, I'm going to be asking some of you to participate and answer, uh, answer to me. All right. Let's see. Uh, Miguel Angel, how often do you dream? Um, well, it depends. If I sleep during the day, uh -huh. I do. And if I sleep in the night, I night? hardly have dreams. Ah. During really? the day, mm -hmm, I dream. dream okay. <laughs> All right, interesting. Let's see. What about you, Amelia? How do you dream? Repeat, please. Yes, how often do you dream? Uh, sometimes, teacher. Sometimes? Not all the time. Not all yeah. the time? Okay. Not all the time, yeah. Okay, interesting. Armando, what about you? I don't remember most <laughs> of my dreams. Yeah, but you feel that you dream often? No, I think like one or two. Or twice? Twice. Okay, all right. All right, very good. What about, uh, let me see, Efrain, what about you? How often do you dream? Uh, I'm not sure. I know I, I dream, but maybe... Yeah. The thing is, sometimes we don't remember our dreams. Right, of course, yes. But, but... Like I said yesterday, psychologists say that everybody dreams, maybe maybe every night, but we don't remember our dreams. Right. Yeah. So I think I dream maybe the ones I remember, maybe maybe one or two or twice. A week. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. All right, Julio, do you dream in color or black and white? <laughs> Uh, well, teacher, sometimes I dream all, always and always I dream on colors. Okay. But uh, sometimes I, I don't know. Maybe I dream a couple of times on uh, white and black and or black and white. I don't know. Okay. Uh, and I can remember, you know, because sometimes you are dreaming and, and, and you don't know what it is. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But, uh, always, always I dream on on, on color. color. Okay, yeah. fun. All right. What about Lydia? Lydia, what about you? Do you dream in color or black and white? Well, I am not sure about that, <laughs> but I think that I dream in color. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Very good. Ivalia, what about in your case? 
Hi. Uh, I always green in color. Okay. All right. Okay. Very good. Interesting. What about the rest of you guys? Have you ever realized that you dream in black and white? Teacher, I never put attention to all this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Eh? Me neither. I have never paid attention myself either. Yeah. Say, say it again, Miguel. Full color and HD. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Eh? <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I think I have never dreamt in black and white, but I'm not sure. All right, very good. Okay. Um, Edwin, have you ever had a flying dream? Good evening. Good evening, Edwin. Uh, in this time, no, but when, when I was a child, yes. Oh, really? Were you yes, like a superhero, Edwin? But I, I don't remember <laughs> that dream. <laughs> All right. I, I forgot my, my dreams uh, immediately. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. All right. That, that happens. That usually happens. What about Daisy? Have you ever had a flying dream, Daisy? Hi, teacher. Hi. Um, no. Okay. No. No. I never? remember now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Very never. good. Interesting. All right. Okay. Uh, Miguel Angel, have you ever been falling in a dream and just when you're about to hit the ground, you wake up? Yes. And you, <laughs> and you usually, well, well, I usually end up jumping in the bed because... Okay. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay. Uh, Milkan, have you ever, ha have you ever like been falling and just when you're about to hit the ground, you wake up? Yeah, yeah, teacher. <laughs> I, I remember and I read about this because mm. it's, a, it's like a, you are dying and oh. your, yeah, and your body responds about this. Okay. And, and send a electro, electro like a, a electro shock in your okay. in your brain. Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. <laughs> what about the rest of you guys? Have you ever like been falling in a dream and just when you're about to hit the ground, you wake up? Any of you? No, not me. No. All right. Interesting. All right. Do you think dreams have meanings, Efrain? Well, I think they are. They have. They do. They, they do? Yeah. I think that a dream maybe uh, depends on the things or activities we have made okay. during the day. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. What about the rest of you guys? Do you think dreams have meanings? I think maybe they don't have meanings. I think the dreams always are for the things we are worried about or, mm. or fears. Mm. Or because we feel like we are doing something bad and we feel inside bad for that reason and that the, the way that we use to take care about our actions or something okay. like that. Okay, all right. Okay, makes sense. Thank you. Very good. All right, what about the rest of you guys? Do you think they have meanings? Dreams have meanings? Uh, Lydia, Amanda, or anybody? I, I think don't... that some dreams, not all, some ah, dreams. All right. I think. All right. Ellie, what about you? Do you think the meaning that dreams have meanings? Uh, the only thing I think um, is that um, oh, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, Ellie? <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Um. Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes because we are worried about mm. something and it mm -hmm. still happen. Okay. Interesting. And All right. What was the question? <laughs> uh, the question was: Do you think dreams have meanings? Okay. I don't think so. No, you don't think so? All right. Okay. Miguel, what about you, Miguel? Oops. Uh, well, I don't really think so, but I, I mean, in most cases. Okay. I mean, we're supposed to be the our brain processing the memories of the day or something right. uh, uh, lines. 
well, at okay. least I've read some. But okay. stuff like that doesn't, doesn't explain when you sometimes meet somebody you never meet in, in real life, uh -huh. in a dream. Okay. And, well, that is stuff that leads sometimes to deja vu. Right, yeah. That's one of the questions at the bottom. Very good. Interesting. Very good. Do you guys think dreams can tell the future? Some. Yeah, no, you don't think so? Some do. Some, Some do. do. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I well. think, I think teacher, that, um, well, exactly for me, they don't tell you the future. Uh -huh. But if you make this question, uh, I don't know, a, a person that maybe love uh, stay on the on the church or something like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe they can think like uh, some person have gifts like the prophets and they can dream in the future of some right. persons. But for me, for a natural person, I don't think so. Maybe okay, all right, know. okay, very I good. Think. Interesting, Julio. Thank you. What about for the rest of you guys? Girls, what do you think? Idalia, what do you think? Do, dream, do you think dreams can tell the future, Idalia? No, I don't think so. No? All right. Okay. All right. Well, well in, in ancient times, uh -huh. uh, dreams, dreams could tell the truth. I mean, the future. The future, yeah. I'm talking about Christ, Christ time. During yeah. Christ time, it happened, right? Moses right. did that. Okay, yeah. sure. Okay, very good. Yeah. Okay. Have you, hey, this is one of the questions we were talking about last time, Miguel, with Veronica, I think you were. Um, have you ever been dreaming and woken up and couldn't move? Ever experienced that, guys? That you like want to move and you can't when you're dreaming? Any of you? It was horrible. I know. I hate that feeling, Miguel. I really hate it. Has it ever happened to you, Julio, that you want to wake up and you cannot wake up, you cannot move, you cannot speak? Yes, that, that happened to happened me sometimes and I feel really tired because it's a really, really, really strange sensation <clears throat> because you can move, you can do nothing, you can, you only can think and that's uh -huh. it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and a couple of times I just make up cry and, uh, and I can do nothing, you know, it's, it's right. really, 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 I, I feel scared a couple of times. I know, times. I, like, I, I do too. Like yeah. somebody have the hands be over me or something right. and I can move. It's, 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 it's really, really, really. It is it's horrible. Like you feel your, it's like when you feel like your your soul is going out from you and you <laughs> see you. Yeah, right, the, oh, yeah. That's really yeah, it's horrible. Very good. Efrain, have you ex ever experienced that feeling, Efrain? No, I don't remember. Oh, I dreamt... you're lucky. <laughs> no, no, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. let me tell you that I've, I've dreamt uh, a kind of uh, dreams, very, mm -hmm. very mis maybe mysterious. mysterious. Mysterious, yes. Yes. That happened to me some time ago, but some dream that I can't explain. Okay. Really. Yeah, it's really complicated. All right. But the one you're talking about, it would be, it would be really, really strange. Really it is really strange. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what about the girls, Idalia, Daisy, Ellie? Have you ever experienced that? Sounds no. God never in my oh, life. Oh, you're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right. Okay. Edwin Armando, what about you, Daisy? Me too, I never. Yes, uh, I have one time. Yeah, were you scared, Armando? I was like in scared and stressed because I can't move and I, I was know. like, what? what's next? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. I, uh, it's called sleep paralysis. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, it has a scientific name and everything. Yeah, but it's freaky anyway. <laughs> All right, very nice. Okay, what is the best? Uh, oh my goodness. Okay, that one is a little complicated here. Let's let's move on to the other one. Why do we forget dreams so quickly? Why do we forget dreams so quickly? What do you think? I believe it's because, well, as I said before, it's our brain 
most of the time sorting information and so mm -hmm. it leads to well in wanting to erase the fragments left from sorting it or something okay well well that happens that happens not not always happen right sometimes sometimes we have that that experience in in mind maybe right. for a couple of days okay yeah i i think teacher, that everything depends on your concentration i think that if you are if you are if you have your concentration in something you can remember for a long time if you okay. can't I think you're gonna you're gonna remember only a, a short time, you know. Okay. And, and thinking about this way, when you are dreaming, sometimes you are connected with your dreams. Your mm -hmm. body is connected with your dreams for the reason. Maybe sometimes you jump or something like that on the bed. But if you are not concentrated on that, maybe you're not gonna remember okay. that dreams a long time. I think it's for that. For the concentration ah, right. of, of the dream. Okay, makes sense. All right. What about the rest, guys? Why do you think we forget dreams? Girls, Amilcar, also, what do you why do you think we forget dreams so quickly? I think it be, maybe because you don't like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. All right. Let's see. Have you ever kept a dream journal? You know what that is? What is a dream journal? I do, but I have never tried to. Yeah. You know, one time um, a person told me that when you wake up in the middle of the night, you will remember the dream that we, you were just having. All right. So what you're supposed to do is you have to have like a pencil and a notebook so you can write it down. All right. But I'm too tired wake up <laughs> all right so i was like no i'm not gonna keep a dream journal i'm okay <laughs> all right because in the morning you will probably not remember your dream all right so you have to do it like if you wake up then you have to write it down because at that moment you still remember yeah what about the rest of you guys have you ever tried to like keep a dream journal or nobody well i want to mention i want to mention uh one special person one of these days uh -huh. talk, tell me told me something interesting uh -huh. The person said that that maybe she dreams one thing tonight, uh -huh. and then tomorrow night she can continue the dream. No way. But yeah, cool. I, that's really interesting because uh -huh. how happened? Yeah, <laughs> but she told me that. It does happen sometimes. It's rare, but it does happen. At least I have it. Have, well, I had it happen to me at least really? once in my life. Uh. Sometimes what has happened, like I feel like I dreamt the same dream again, but it's not a continuation of no the continuation, dream. continuation, right? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I guess it might happen. All right, interesting. Cool. All right. Why do you think we dream? What's the purpose of them? Guys, what do you think? Why do we, why do we dream? Well, I think I think it's related to relax, relaxation. Okay. It's a way to maybe take something out from our body, maybe from our mind, or I don't know. All it's right. a way to to feel maybe free, to be mm. really quiet. Okay. All right. Anybody else? So, yeah. Well, on that, I think. The issue with that explanation, which is a pretty good one, is that the, it doesn't explain the nightmares. Mm -hmm. And well, I think I already mentioned that there are theories that it's our brain sorting our the how do I say sorting the memories of right. during the day. Okay. So it's a possible answer for this. Mm. All right. Okay. All right, Daisy, why do you think we dream? Daisy? No, she's not around. Lydia, why do you think we dream? Or Idalia? 
So I am not sure about that, but I think that it's like uh, a way to to express something, mm. your, your, what you think, or I don't know, I'm not sure. So okay. I don't right. have an explanation. <laughs> I, All right. For I, me. Sure. I'm sorry. No, continue. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> Ladies first. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. For me, it's like a a brain power. Uh -huh. I mean, when you're dreaming, you're not doing anything. You're not thinking about anything. So your brain starts. I I don't know. You know that our brains has an incredible power. So right. It is our brain starts. I don't know, doing, doing that. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Interesting. And who was going to say something before Idalia? All right. All right. Do you think animals dream too? Of course. Yes, I say. Yes, my, yeah. little, my little dog dream in the Re night. Yes. Really? <laughs> yeah. All right. How do you know he's dreaming? <laughs> no, I am not sure about that, but, but yeah. Okay. All right. Interesting. What about the rest of you guys? Do you think animals dream? Yeah, maybe yes. a bull. Yeah. Maybe a bull yeah, dreams too. of a... <laughs> okay. okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, I, I mean, um, Efrain, you were gonna say something. Um, it was like a joke. Maybe a bull dreams of a cow. Of a cow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, and Elizabeth says that everybody has seen their dogs having dreams running, right? Like they are like barking or something and they're like dreaming or they're eating, right? All right, you can see that on movies too. Now, do you think that El Salvador, as a general culture, do we have like, like, do we traditionally believe about dreams or not really? None that I know of. Yeah. Uh, I think because uh, in our culture, uh, our parents, uh, they believe on the, on the future, on dreams. Okay. And they are they are giving the same uh, things to the new generations. Okay. Uh, maybe this is the reason because in our country we believe in our dreams. Right. About to take care about something because I dream with you. You was driving a car and you mm -hmm. crashed. And maybe right. sometimes that that happened to me, and I'm um I don't know maybe. I put my attention on a ticket because I'm gonna drive tomorrow and get ah, them up okay. and me that I grow up with this uh with this idea uh, okay. we have to to to, to believe on, on the dreams but I don't know maybe it's for this reason. All right, interesting. All right. Now have you ever had a deja vu guys? Yeah. Yeah? A lot of times I have. And how do you feel about it? It's strange. <laughs> yeah. All yeah, right. Yeah, Miguel, it feels strange. It's weird. It really is weird. weird, eh? Now, has it ever happened to you with like going to a place and you say, oh my goodness, I've been here before? Or when you meet someone and you say, oh man, I have met this person before, or both? Both. <laughs> oh, really? I don't think it has ever happened person but with places yes or with situations that i feel like i've i have lived it before but no with particular person i think that would freak me out <laughs> yeah all right interesting now guys like i think julio just mentioned something that is interesting because have you ever had a dream or have you ever dreamt about something that in a way, not perhaps everything, but in a way came true. 
and is very related to what you dreamt about? Yeah. So, all right. And how did you feel about that, Efrain? That can happen because, and, and we said, well, that's a coincidence. Mm -hmm. We think about that. But I think somebody, some, sometimes we have dream of, dreamt of some person, mm -hmm. some situation, and then we live it. We okay. meet that situation and it's like, come on, I dream about that right. some time ago. Right. It happened. It can happen. Okay. All right. Yeah. But, and I have a question for you, yes. teacher. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When do you think it's more possible to dream? When we are mm -hmm. tired, worried, or when we are relaxed? Wow. I don't know. <laughs> um, that's a very good question. I don't know. Some people say that maybe when you're too like way too relaxed and some people say for example my husband says that he he feels that he dreams whenever he's really really tired oh yeah, yeah. but i haven't oh. really paid attention in my case if i dream mm -hmm. when i'm tired or when i'm not tired i don't know so, so it's a homework it's a homework yeah it's a homework, it's a homework. i want to explore it <laughs> yeah all right okay, okay. What about the rest of you guys? When do you think we dream the most? When we're tired or when we're relaxed? I think it can be in both situations. Both? Oh, okay. Yeah. And I think, teacher, the dreams have purpose because uh -huh. uh, and sometimes we say to other people, hey, follow your dreams. Or right. It's, okay. It's like, it's like a goal, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. You know, so first, I dream, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, go ahead. I dream is like you dream when, when in my case, I dream all the nights. Okay. So, and in our nights that I am tired and another no. So. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Very interesting. Yes, Edwin. I think uh, it's, it's, it's more possible when are going through a difficult situation in, in our life. Okay. In this case, I think it's, it's more pro probabilities. Okay, interesting. All to right. Have, to have dream, yes. All right. Well, you know what? Personally, I do believe the dreams can tell you things. Ah, Elizabeth says that I have dreams when I'm worried about something. Okay, interesting. Yeah, it happened a while ago. I, I think one of the biggest dreams I've had that I will never forget about it was like about 50 years ago. I had a dream that I was driving my car and I went, you know what a roundabout is? A roundabout? A redondel? So in my dream, I was driving my car and I went on a roundabout, which was close to my house where I used to live at that time. And I went, I took the roundabout and then instead of going around, when I was going around, I went out of the, the road and just kind of like, I went like on a kind of like a cliff, like going down, right? And as, as the question said, suddenly you wake up, right? But I was, I woke up feeling very, very, uh, that's okay, Eddie. Feeling very scared because I felt, oh my, I, I remember that in my dream, I thought I'm going to die. All right. So I woke up in the morning, but I did remember the dream. And like about a week later, maybe I was driving back to my house and it was December 31st. All right. So I was coming back to my house and it was like, we were coming from uh, a, not a party, but we were like with some friends. So we were coming like about 11 at night and I was driving close to my house, but I did not take the roundabout. I was just going up. And then I had, a, I had to stop because there was a red light. Right? And my light changed to green and I was started driving, all right? But then there was a car coming, like a microbus coming from like uphill all right so i thought to myself oh my goodness this guy is not gonna stop all right because he was driving way too fast and he had a red light all right so 
of course he did not stop all right so i was like i turned around like i was going up and he was coming down all right so when i started going up he he was so after we found out that this driver was so drunk that he thought i was in front of him all right so he kind of like it was like a movie because he just cr like went by me like this right <laughs> and he like the the microbus went like he i don't know like a three flips or something and everybody except the driver died on that accident all right so i was like really really the moment it happened, I thought, oh my goodness, this guy is going to hit me and I'm going to die. And I had my baby boy at the back of the car. He was one year old and I'm thinking Alejandro's going to die here, right? So, and at that same moment, I remember my dream. So it's like, oh my goodness, it was really freaky for me because it was like the same sensation kind of thing. So, but luckily, of course, nothing happened. I'm here, all right? But everybody on the microbus died except the driver that was totally drunk, all right? So it was like really, really scary. So I don't know. I think in a way I dreamt it. It's not the same dream to what happened, but I related to it. So it's like, yeah, I don't know. Dreams sometimes tell you things, <laughs> I think. Uh, yeah. Uh, did you see the movie Inception? Or anyone here see the movie? No. Inception uh, is about dreams. Ah. And it's uh, the, how can you say, reparto? Uh, uh, like um, the. Oh, uh, actors. Uh, yeah, the actors. Uh -huh. Yeah, the actor is, yes. the principal actor La is class, yes. Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. It's, it's a good movie. Oh. It's about the dreams and how mm. you can put an idea to another people. Right. Okay. Oh, interesting. It's so interesting. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it is. I think dreams is another world. <laughs> All right, guys. Very nice. I'm going to share this with you right now. So you may take a picture of it. Okay. So um, we have, well, I had two topics. Take both pictures and decide which one you want to talk about with your partner, okay? We have crime, so take a picture of this one. Ready? And then we have this other one, which is about movies, all right? So you decide because we, only, we, we will only have time for one topic. All right, so will you decide with your partner what you want to talk about, about crimes or about movies, all right? But try to do the questions, and of course, you both can, like, ask and answer, all right? All right, so I'm going to send you right now to your groups. Just give me a second here, and then you can talk. All right, here you go. Rose. What do you think? Mother. Mm. <laughs> More mother than Rose. Uh, well, it could be both. Now it's most <laughs> like most like it's normal when people. Roll. <laughs> Do you say robot? Robot. I, 
Teacher, how is it robar? Oh, steal. Steal, steal, yeah. <coughs> a ro rose is like a... Steal, yeah. You're the guy, you're the guy, the girl who I was talking yesterday? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so the next well, one. Do police in your country be straighter or less straight? Mm, I think that could will do anything because um, people always is acting like like they want. So if the police um, become stricter, uh, they're gonna be um, upset. Yeah. Um, they're gonna. I am so sorry. <laughs> yeah, you, you sound like that. <laughs> yeah, well, you got me. You got me what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, for me, police should. Mm, should be straighter, but with the people who need it. Uh, but love must be straighter because they cannot be, they cannot cannot do anything because the love is um amparando is uh I don't know how I say um, um I love. think uh, the love the love must be stricter. The love, okay, yeah, I know uh, what. What do you mean? Yeah. Um, uh, is your country a safe country? <laughs> a good one. No, it, it's uh, <laughs> not at all. <coughs> no, it's no. Uh, no have, you ever, have you ever seen a crime? Don't talk about it. It's too accepting for you. Easy uh, setting for you. Um, I, I, uh, how how is that it happened? Something like, uh, okay, it happened to me, and and I feel okay. so, so upset because um, how can somebody do that? Um. I feel so upset what I what I could do, so I could not. Yeah. Oh, that was pretty upsetting. Oh, I don't know how it's pronounced. This is is like very sad. So, so so. I think in all countries, I think that's happening in all countries. That some places are safe, we and other ones really bad but i think it's in our country in general i think that it's, it's, it's taking now a really nice transformation because we are we are becoming in a safe in a safe country you know uh, people i hear many three years or four years ago that people dying like uh i don't know like a child is crying you know a lot of people dying all day Maybe 20, 25, mm -hmm. uh, and now we we can hear that you know how nobody dying a day. You know, for example, I saw children before that we closed the pond with the most uh, low, um, a low, uh, a most low uh, quantity of people dying. You know, I think we have we have now a safe country for the national persons you know. so when we're our country is safer than before right that's what you think yeah. julio i think so i think so okay it's good coming better. okay are you in agreement lady can you repeat are you in agreement with julio and i yeah okay okay next question have you ever seen a crime yeah don't don't talk about it if it's 
to upset. No, 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 upset. for me it's the same problem. Okay. <laughs> okay, about that. But I was a little child. I was... Mm. And what's a hard cry, really. And you saw it. Yeah, well... Mm. Because mm. of problems. For my family, yes, because was is like next to my house, mm. and and that was there are reasons that we suffer amenazas. So I'm not sure about for some years, but now it's like that's if things of the past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What about you, Julio? Well, I think uh, I saw a lot of people dying, man, but because, you know, I, I, I grew up on the street and when you are on the street, uh, you have to fight with the life and you can find uh, many things that you don't like to see, to saw, you know. Um, I remember when I was um, maybe 14 years old, um, one friend was fighting with another guy and uh, he he put on the face and another guy take a, I don't know, a knife and, and put inside of him. And uh, I, I saw my friend uh, cutting out and I think it's, it's, it's really hard, you know, when you have to try to help that people is dying, it's, you have to become a really, really strong too because you can, you can I don't know, become sick that on your mind and your health mm -hmm. everything can happen but, and maybe the most we move outside home the most uh the most exposed we are to different situations like this one right yeah okay so let's go to next do you think mm. criminals can change Are you Efrain, um, have you ever seen a crime can you repeat, can you repeat the question hello Efrain, what about in your case? Have you ever like witnessed a crime? No, no, never. Oh. Thank God. Yeah, no, lucky. Never. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, Lydia, so you we were saying about amenaza, right? Yeah. It's a threat. What? Threat. You're, what you're is the meaning threats. of that? Yeah, Amenazas. Ah, yeah, right. uh, yeah. Threat. Uh -huh. Yeah, a lot yeah. of. In my in my house, in my family, a lot of threats. Oh, really? So she was yeah. threatened, right? They were threatened. Yeah, yeah, they were threatened. Okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All yeah, right. Okay. Thank you. So now, now we're discussing about. Uh, do you think criminals can change? So I think that they can change, but it's difficult for they everything depends. to do that. Sorry, is the word seems can pass. Well, if it's just the cell phone and they are not making noise, I don't mind it. But if they keep talking to you or they keep just being noisy, that's annoying. So let's see the next question. Which is more important, acting or special effects? I think the special event. I say acting. Because no special.
Yeah, I think, Washington. I, th uh, I, think, I think the same. Right? Mm -hmm. Uh, ah, also, can you can you read? Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Uh, uh, the other one. And, and Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey also. I like Jim Carrey. Yeah, ah, yeah, this too comic man. <laughs> very, very good actor. Really. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I like them. I like uh, San Andreas. So okay, I have, uh, hey, 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 pass yeah. the, the, next, the next question better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what type of movie is best for a date? Oh, <laughs> what do you think about it? <laughs> what, do you uh, think? What, kind, what kind of movie? <laughs> uh, I think, I think it, it can be a lot of movie, but for me, it can be... <laughs> I think Titanic. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I, think. I I never I see this movie. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, but for you what, what kind of movie is the best for a day? Uh, I have not uh, uh, the best kind uh, for me. I don't know. Okay. In my case, I I will ask uh, the the girl. Hey, uh, what, what what film do you do you like? Would you like uh, to watch? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're true because if you <laughs> if you show a movie about uh, romantic people. movie and and she don't like, yeah, you you are wrong. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the so, other... so that, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, the woman, the women, uh, some women uh, like a thriller or action. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. No, they are not especially movie. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the other one. Do you cry during movies? Sometimes. Me too, man. Yeah, me too. Sometimes the, the last movie that I I I cried was. Mm, it's about a, a book, La Cabaña. Oh, I saw it's, this movie. Yeah, I saw this it's, movie. It's religious. Okay, yeah, man. Yeah, religious. I saw I saw this movie and me and me was crying about, during the movie. <laughs> I watched this, this movie. Uh, yes, and, and made me made me cry, really. Yeah. And, and, and did, did you see another movie? Another good movie is about the. The man is in the hell for for a crime, and he is a, a man don't have all I don't know all condition all physical condition good. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know if you if you what what, what is the name? You, the name I remember in Spanish is the me after uh, you before me no. No, no, it's uh, the, que yo? no, the name is El Milagro en la Celda Siete. Ah, oh, Milagro, I, I don't know, I don't remember if if I, I watched uh, the, this movie. Okay, okay, this is a good movie and, uh, and I cry during yes, the movie. Yes, I, I listen to this. Okay. okay, the other one, what was the, the scariest movie you had ever seen? You don't like a horror movie, right? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't watch Titanic, but uh, I like Titanic. Okay. It was a, a great movie. And, and also, uh, I, uh, ¿cómo se llama esta que van a, van a sacar la, la trilogía, hombre? Del mismo, del mismo director, James Cameron. James. Aquí los animales azules. Avatar. Uh, ah, Avatar. Avatar. Okay. Avatar. Okay. Yeah, okay, I, nice. I, I like I, I like this this movie. Yeah. Uh, the other next one question for, for next question for you, Peter. Yeah. Peter. <laughs> what was what was the scariest movie you have ever seen? 
A vos que te gusta eso. Yeah. Hey, for me is the the grown tour. I I saw the all the the, the how can I say that this in this game is not a trilogy. It's a it's on. I remember it, there there are five movies about this. Did five. you did you see did you see the grown tour? The grand grown grown tour. Camino equivocado. Grown tour. Mm -hmm. No, no. Ah, wrong tour. No, wrong no. Tour. Yeah, it's about the people take or took a, a, a wrong tour and lost in the in the in the forest or and some people's like uh ermitaños. I don't know mm -hmm. what they say. And they attack to them and ah. oh, and and they eat the people. <laughs> It's a horror movie for me. Okay. Uh, Another question for you. How often do you see movies? Uh, uh, a ver. <coughs> Permíteme. Okay. Uh, I... Hi guys. Hi. So Hi. I heard some of you chose the topic of crime and I heard the other groups chose the topic of movies. All right, so that's interesting. That's why I decided to give like two types of topics so you could choose whichever one you wanted to, all right? Okay guys, so tomorrow is the very last class of this uh, course, all right? So I expect of course to see you as, I, I, as always. Tomorrow we're going to talk again. I'm going to choose some other topics so we can talk about it and to see if there's anything on the platform that you need help with. Okay. So thank you so much for being with me tonight. Thank you for participating. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys. Thank Have a good night. You. Bye. Bye. Bye.